In this video, I'm going to show you how to use AccuRig to map the skeleton to the Unreal Engine 4 or 5 animations that you can get on Marketplace or even the free ones. So in previous videos, we'd use Mixamo animations. Uh, we're going to open it wide open and it'll show you a really great workflow for students. So what I want to do is I'm opening up my Unreal Engine 5.1, go to the third person tab under games, and we're going to give this a, a, a project. We'll go project tutorial and I'll click create. We'll wait a second for that to create. While that's opening up, we're going to go to Mixamo. So we're going to use the Mixamo characters without the rigging. The reason is simple. There are many cool characters that your, your students could use for their virtual productions. And this is a great place to go. So if you look, I'll just, I, I use this character right now, but if you just click here, you can see, and there's like three, four pages of them. And uh, most of them work. I've tried a bunch of them over the years, and they're all really good. So if your students are looking for something specific, they can probably find it here. Now, there's more advanced workflows using things from Sketchfab. Maybe I'll make a video on that later. But for now, let's just use this character. Get him in a T-pose like he is right now. And we're going to download this character. And what we're going to do is, instead of bringing this character with an animation from Mixamo, we're going to go to Actor Core. So Actor Core is a free uh, software uh, created by Real Illusion, and it is quite good. And one of the things it's really great for is it exports uh, this UE4 skeleton. So you don't have to uh, do all this fancy retargeting, which is a lot easier than it used to be, but this is way simpler, and I use this with uh, high school students. I'm going to load my exoskeleton that I just downloaded, and I haven't tried this model yet, so let's see how it goes. Uh, so it's going to take a few minutes to bring it in. So here it is, uh, and I'm going to just click rig the body, and it's really fast. It's way faster than Mixamo, and it's way more detailed. And you can also move the, the you can move with uh, the, I'm pressing the left mouse button. You can see, now generally it does a really, the place where it sometimes messes up is on the hands. And we're going to have a quick look, and this character has five fingers. So I'm going to click next. If ever the hands mess up, I'm just going to cancel them out uh, just for this tutorial because it, it takes a little bit of uh, playing around with. And for most of the animations that we're using with, uh, you know, students, you don't really need to worry about too fine detail because uh, that would be, uh, takes a lot more time. And so this is pretty good, but as you can see, the hand needs to uh, be... Um, Let's click mirror just so both of them are the same. And well, we're going to just fix this a little bit. So it did a pretty good job. But let's go like that just so it covers the mesh. And maybe move that in a little bit here. And we're going to rig both hands. Oh, see, this one's a little bit off. So we'll just fix that and go where the knuckle is roughly. So, you know, this takes two seconds, so we might as well do it. Um, and here we're going to finalize this character. And once it's done, we're going to check over here with some of the uh, animations. We're not going to use these. Now, Actor Rig wants you to, you know, you could buy the animations from them, and there's a whole different workflow there. But um, I find there's just way more animations in Unreal Engine. If you have a mocap suit, you could also do some of your own. We have a Rococo, which are we're looking at building some animation tutorials to showcase how we use them. Um, so for now, so here's our character, and let's just have a look at the hand. Let's see how, how they look. Because once it's out of here, it's kind of hard to fix. So now's the time. Everything looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do is instead of upload to Actor Core, we're going to export because we're going straight into Unreal Engine. So here, this is where the magic happens. You export it. So it has the Unreal 4 skeleton, I believe, now. Um, once you get into the tutorial, you'll see uh, what I do. So we're going to export this. Now, really important that you, you write rigged. Okay, so don't, because you'll get mixed up with this other one. So right now, I brought this character in. I've already created my project. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call them Exo um rigged okay um in case you wanted to use the mixamo animations you would have to have two characters even if they looked identical um they would use a different skeleton 
but for now let's keep it simple we just have one i'm going to go and i'm going to use a red folder i'm going to open this i'm going to bring in my new character and he's in my downloads folders i think and again you don't want this one you want the new one just leave this file you don't need to touch the json file just click click open click reset and under advance click use uh, T0 as reference pose for it to work appropriately. Click import all. Take a second. So what we want to do now is I'm going to create a folder for the materials. So let's just see what he looks like. And one of the things it does is it fixes some of the errors that we're, we get in the Mixamo textures. I'm not sure how it does it, but that's an excellent way maybe to, to, to make things simpler for your students. So I'm going to go and create a new folder. I'm going to call this materials and I'm just going to click shift and just drag those in here, here. Just go get that. Just so we only have these three things in here. It's a really good habit to take to organize your file, especially when you're bringing in characters with so many materials. Click shift and then just drag that in here. All right. Okay, so I think I'm going to, yeah, let's, let's stop the video here because I'm going to show two workflows, okay? One uh, for Unreal Engine 5 to Unreal Engine 4 animations and one for Unreal Engine 4 to Unreal Engine 5 animations. So let's stop this first video here, which is called a setup, basically, okay? If you have any questions, please let me know.